And now to Washita County to learn about the research underway to find the right way to eliminate a pesky plant. So we're at the uh, Marvin Clemmy uh, Range Research Station here, which is OSU property. And so we have a series of uh, research plots here for old world blue stem. And we're putting in the last of the treatments and trying to find what treatments might help us to eradicate and do a conversion from old world blue stem over to a native plant community. There's actually several different grasses that are kind of lumped as old world blue stem. Um, the particular plot that we're in here is Caucasian blue stem and it was planted widely through the southern Great Plains as a forage. Um, it's used both for hay and, and for direct livestock grazing. And early in the season, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good forage for cattle, but later uh, it's not as high quality. A lot of producers are interested in converting to something else, but also from a wildlife perspective, it forms these very monotypic stands with very little plant diversity, and it's very poor for uh, wildlife habitat. Yeah, you can find old world blue stems uh, widely across the Great Plains, particularly in central and western Oklahoma, it's very common. But also, uh, folks that just have native rangelands are fighting this plant coming in off the roadways. It's, it's very common on the roads and the ditches, and it's a really good invader. It comes from seed very easily, so you slowly see Old World creeping into native rangelands. And this is happening across the state. So, um, you know, that's a big problem for people that never intended it to be on their property is it slowly converting those native stands over to a monotypic stand of something that's less desirable. So we put these plots in uh, throughout the summer of 2019, and uh, it's too early right now to know what the, what the outcome is gonna be. Early results would tend to suggest that mowing and haying does nothing but in, maybe increase the old world blue stem that really favors it. Um, we did some summer fires in, in in uh, July and thus far it looks promising but time will tell. We also did several different types of herbicide treatments uh, that'll take you know about a year to know how effective they were. So we know some of these plots we're going to have a lot of old world blue stem come back from seed. So we're also looking at things to try to suppress that that seed germination and some of these plots after we've come in with a herbicide application we're coming in and top sowing wheat uh, where, where we've actually done some light strip disking to try to prepare the soil a little bit. So we're hoping the wheat might provide some competition to suppress the germination of the new old, of the new old world blue stem plants. Other plots were sprayed with a type of herbicide that's soil active for 18 months with the same hopeful outcome that as those propagules are germinating from the seed bank that the herbicide will continue to be active and kill those plants. <laughs>